Hello friends, this is Pradeep, your own digital productivity expert and I'm also Microsoft Certified Trainer, Microsoft Office Specialist and Microsoft Certified Master for Microsoft Application. In this video, I'm going to talk about one more mobile productivity tip which will help you to declutter your SMS. I'm sure you must have gone through the situation where nowadays you've been receiving a lot of unwanted SMSs from different uh, companies, different organizations, some uh, spam messages and you are completely fed up of those messages to an extent that you have even stopped checking SMS and because of this problem you would have lost some important communication sent by your near or dear ones. So friends do not worry I have the solution to this problem and the solution to this problem is extremely simple. You have to just go to Play Store and download an application called as SMS Organizer. The link of this SMS Organizer is written at the description of my YouTube channel video. You can click on that and directly go to this app store and download this application. Friends, let me bring it to your notice that this application is from Microsoft Corporation. So you can 100% rely on this application. Once you install this, you just need to click on open. When you click on open, you will see the screen which will ask you for your permission to make SMS organizer as your default application to send and receive SMS. Please click yes. Now once you do that, as soon as you install SMS organizer, you will find certain tabs. This is your person tab and this is going to be your favorite tab. In this you will receive or you can see the SMSs of your friends and family members or any person who is added to your contact list you can see their messages not to worry it also understands certain messages which are not saved under your contact as important and you will find those messages on this window but the other messages that you were fed up with you can find them under transaction sms as you can see my sbr card uber and some other uh, organizations they have sent me these SMSs. You can also find one more tab which says promotional and in this you will only find the SMSs from the companies who are running some promotional campaign. But let's say you seem to have missed someone's message and you have not read that. Here you have the option show only unread. The moment you click on that it will bring up the list of all the unread messages. Now, as you can see, I do not have a single unread message, so it is completely blank. But let's say I go to transactional SMSs and if I go ahead with red, these are all red messages. If I click here, it displays only unread messages. There are some more in interesting features here. You can archive any message or you can block the message from a particular sender. That is also possible. Now friends, let's look at some more interesting features of SMS Organizer. I'm sure by now you would have liked this application and after knowing the other features, you will like it further and you would definitely want to install it on your mobile. So let's take a look at that. The first and the most important feature that I like the most is, let's say you want to wish someone a happy birthday or maybe any Diwali and you do not want to forget them uh, at least sending an SMS. What you can do is you can schedule an SMS which will be delivered at the date and time that you have scheduled it for. Let's take a look how do we do that. I first open the SMS launcher application and here I select a contact. I type a contact Mangesh and I select the contact. Let's say I would like to compose this message. I would like to wish him happy Diwali. After composing the message I can click on this calendar icon to schedule this message. So I would like to schedule this message at a set date and time. So I click on set date and time. Diwali is on 18th. So I select 18th and I would like him to receive the message early in the morning at 9 o'clock. That 2 a.m. I click OK and now I click schedule. Now you will see that now on the screen you will see that the message has already been scheduled and this calendar icon shows that that this message has not been delivered and it is yet to be delivered on the scheduled date and time. 
So this is a fantastic feature. Further to that, other feature that I like here is I can set a reminder and I can also mark certain messages as important. Let's say this message from Uber, I would like to keep a reminder for myself. What I can do is I can just open the message panel and long press the message that I want to be reminded for. And now I click on this option that says reminder icon and select reminder to book a cab. Now I can select set. I would like to be reminded on 12th of October at 1 p.m. Now I click OK and click on create. So now this has gone into my reminder section. I would also like to show you on the notification panel as well. It shows you the reminder. As you can see this organizer, if I expand this, it says SMS organizer weekly summary as well as the reminder. Let's take a look at weekly summary. So here is the weekly summary. Now let's say I would like to see all the reminders that I have created for myself so I can anytime come to this reminder section and I can see the reminder. Friends, let me also tell you that you get automatic reminders as well. As if I click here, you can see that there, there is some reminder from SBI bank. This is not created by me, but this bank must have sent me some notification which could be important like your bills are due or anything important which you should notice. This SMS organizer intelligently marks that as a reminder and keeps it for you. Often you would see the reminder comes at the top of the section here. You can also mark certain messages as important. Let's say I've received this message and I would like it to be marked as important. I'll go to that message, long press the message and click on this star. That means it's an important message for me. Now, whenever I need all the important messages, I can click on the star to locate all the messages that I have marked as important. So now this reminder and important message are something which I like the most. So friends, I'm sure that you would have liked this video. If you think that this video was helpful, I would request you to like this video, comment on it and share this video as much as you can. That encourages me to come up with some more excellent stuff for you guys. Thank you very much. This is your own Pradeep Pradeshi from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. Thank you. Take care and bye-bye.